All right, hello everybody, Zaxer99 back with another quick video to help any of you guys out that might be having a problem like I did when you have dual monitors. And let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and pretend this here is your first monitor on your computer. And then let's go ahead and say this right here is your keyboard, right? And here's your mouse, right? And then you have a second monitor, right? So here's your second monitor you got over to the side. And we don't want to make it quite that pretty, so we'll just we'll just make it white. But this is your primary monitor. And what happened, what was happening with me is like let's say I was playing, I went to another source on this monitor to work, for example. Uh, I was switching the source on the monitor to work at night. But this could be for anything. Maybe you're switching the source to go to your PlayStation or your Xbox or whatever, because maybe you have that hooked up to your monitor. So what I would have is while I was working, I was having, let's say I had a window open over here, let's say a YouTube video, and I had Steam open over here, and I had some other bank, you know, window for my banking or whatever on this monitor. Well, what was happening is every time I... I would have this on like a different source, the input on my main monitor. And then when I'd get done with work and I'd switch the input back to my computer, what would actually happen is the computer would all of a sudden move all these windows, right, over to my main monitor. So it was, uh, yeah, it was not cool. So basically, let's just go ahead and... Well, let's just move them and a lot of times you would throw them all together in a like a mess or whatever on my main monitor it usually wouldn't be in the same organized manner that i had them on my second monitor right so yeah so every time i would switch the input on this main monitor move all these applications over to my main monitor like this and then i would have nothing over on my second monitor and all the stuff would be thrown on my main monitor and i didn't really know how to fix this well, I got a solution for you guys that's really easy that will actually fix this so you can change your input on your main monitor without this happening every time. And the solution is right here. Uh, this is for Windows 10, by the way. And this is a little app called Persistent Windows, and it'll run in your taskbar, just like this right here, Persistent Windows. And it's a real small app. You just come down here. You're going to want to go ahead and grab the most recent version. Right now I'm using 1.35 or whatever. But yeah, you just come here, go under installation, click on this, and whatever the most recent version is for you, just click on the number, download it, and unzip it, and then you're going to see that it's actually running right here in your task manager. And if you have any questions or any problems or anything like that, just go to the installation and make sure you're following all the steps, uh, the use instructions, just like that, and uh, you're good. So this has helped a lot. I'm going to have the link for this download for... Uh, for persistent windows, a small little application that you can run to prevent this from happening. If this is a problem for you, let me know in the comments below if this has helped you out. Uh, if this is something that, you know, has solved your problem, please let me know down in the comments below. Again, this is for Windows 10. This doesn't apply to Mac or other versions of Windows or anything like that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know if this has helped you. This has been Zaxter99. Take care.